So that's clamped now and ready to machine. Obviously, once you've finished your operation and you want to uh, store it back, you just bring the hood back, uh, put it back in there, reverse the program, send that back to your tool changer. So in the morning, you should come and the, the vices inside all the Halvexes will be with finished parts in there effectively. So depending on how, how many sort of empty tool um, places you've got there, that's how many billets you can have. You can machine those overnight and it's done. Automation system, nice and simple. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's designed to just get a bit of unmanned running where without having to buy a handling system or robot. You don't need any knowledge of automation. You can just add this to your existing machine and, and away you go. We're in a Lang Technic UK stand at Mac 2022. It's going to have to be a relatively quick video. The reason being, you guys are absolutely heaving. So busy, it's unbelievable. How's it going? Uh, really good. Yeah, we've been absolutely slammed all week. So, uh, you know, it's really good. The market's definitely uh, picking up. I think everyone's eager to get out after four years of uh, being sat at home. So. Brilliant. Danny, we will make it quick because, yeah, every time we try and talk to you, so our customers come up. Some great, great products. We see this product absolutely everywhere. Very briefly, what is it? What does it do? Uh, so this is our macro grip, it's very well known in the industry, it's the industry standard really for 5-axis work holding. Obviously it works off of our stamping technology uh, which allows you to clamp on 3 mil with confidence um, and repeat within 10 microns. That's it, nice and simple. But with the stamping, you can control it so you're not getting a deflection on the material depending on the material. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, you can adjust the uh, the pressure of what you're stamping at. So you can do aluminium right up to Inconel. You know, it covers the full range. Okay, so I'm pre-stamping this, pop popping it in here. What sort of accuracy? So you can, it will centre within 10 microns um, and you can guarantee on that, you know, every time you're putting it in and out. But also all of our work holding works off of a quick point system which repeats within five microns. So if you keep something in the vice and take it to the CMM, uh, you can then put the vice back in the machine within five microns. Absolutely brilliant, that's what you want. And in, like I say, modular system, so I can have it everywhere around my machine shop. What sort of applications are you milling? Yeah, uh, millings. We do have some turning applications, although nothing that we make is really designed for that sort of thing. A lot of people use like wire EDM, so they use our stuff to uh, particularly to take the back end off once they've done a sort of five axis operation. And the fact it's three mil and the cost of material at the moment, you've only got it, well, you're only holding on to a small amount. But when you come to doing the second op to clear it all off, you're only machining a small amount. Yeah, that's right. I and mean, particularly with titanium and Inconel, you know, the cost is phenomenal. And so being able to only clamp on three mil is, you know, quite important as material costs go up. Okay, and clamping force is, is fairly rigid, I'm assuming? Well, the clamping force is, uh, you know, lo lots of people say, oh, we have really, really high clamping force. We're not about that. We're about low clamping force. We're about putting all the force into the billet on the stamping machine so that you can clamp with very low clamping force on the vice. And what that means is the tool is not having to fight against this high clamping force. And because of that, you reduce a lot of the machining vibration. So you get really nice surface finishes, even on parts that are up to three times the width of the vice jaw. And you say three times, so you'll guarantee that for these engineers out there? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, we'll guarantee. If you're going around that with an end mill, you should get, you know, almost no chatter on that. Brilliant. And that's also affecting the spindle, the tooling as well, not just the, the fit surface finish on the on the component. Yeah, exactly. You know, it should save you money on your material, save you money on tool breakages and things like that. So, Perfect. so we do see a lot of these absolutely everywhere. But it's been a quiet, well, not quiet, because that's, that's probably not right, but four years, COVID, etc. We've heard all about it. You've had the you know, you're, you're an innovative company. You've been doing a lot of stuff. First of all, these, what's going on with these jaws here? So we've got a very, very simple solution for soft jaws. So, uh, you know, we've got a couple of soft jaw options already where you wind on a base jaw to our macro grip vices, but these, uh, they just have a few magnets to retain them and our stamped form, which actually allows them to locate on the vice. So you literally locate that on the stamped form and that stays on there, you can put the other one on the other side and then you just machine your profile in here. It's really quick to take those on and off if you just want a nice, quick, cheap solution for doing second op work. Again, nice and simple, repeatable, accurate. Repeatable to how many microns? T 10 again, you know, it works off of the stamping technology, so it's always the same. I knew that already. <laughs> but next one, this is, well, two fantastic things on this. A great system as you expect from you guys. T talk to me about this then. So this is our Macro Grip Ultra. So it's designed to clamp larger stuff than what we have been known for in the past. So our, our, the Macro Grip standard vices go up to 355 mil between the jaws. These can go right up to 810 mil between the jaws. So they're modular. They all work off of the quick point, as with everything we do works off of the quick point location. Um, so you, you build up the vice bodies effectively, and then what you have to do is just add on another uh, larger spindle if you want to clamp larger work. 
The other smart thing about this, which is reducing your setup times for large work, is the vice jaws can uh, be disconnected from the spindle. So you can slide these to where you need them uh, before then putting, putting this back in, reconnecting them to the spindle, and then you can clamp your workpiece with them. Two things, and my colleague looked at this, and she's an experienced engineer, and she went, he used to fill me with trepidation when I'm doing the big parts. That takes the pain out of it. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, with bigger parts, you inevitably have longer setup times. That's just the nature of the beast. And with this, we're trying to reduce setup times and just make operators' lives easier. Everything we do is, is revolved around those two ethos. Okay. And this, so you're popping this out. Are you going to get maintain that repeatability, that accuracy, that rigidity? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, with bigger stuff, the, the accuracies do tend to get slightly less than with smaller, smaller billets. But... Um, it is the same 10 micron centering accuracy, so it's no different to what, we're, what you should be used to from Lang Technic. Okay. And I have to say, and a customer walked past earlier and he saw us pop that out and his reaction was, wow, absolutely brilliant. So that's a couple of things, but you've been busy guys, we've got two more. So let's move around here, if we could fight off some of the customers and get to two more products. We've already talked reliability, repeatability, accuracy, but innovation, we've done a couple of new products, but Next one, what's this, Danny? So we've got something here that's very simple, uh, but it's, it's well needed in the market. So it's uh, jaws to stamp and clamp round material using our existing macro grip vices. So previously, you would have to machine a small flat onto a billet um, and then stamp that in our conventional stamping machine. Now you can just, with a set of add-on jaws to the stamper, you can stamp a form into a round billet and then you've got jaws on the vise which correspond to that. You've obviously got different jaws to uh, go to different diameter ranges and things, but uh, yeah, it's just a really nice addition to our existing product range. A nice simple solution. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And taking the op an operation out, so saving time in terms of engineering. Yeah. What diameters will it go from and to? Uh, so it'll go from 36 on the smallest vices right up to 300 mil diameter on the largest vices. So it's a nice big component. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to ask, repeatable, accurate, rigid? Within 10 microns, as I always call it. I think we're getting the vibe here. We're not getting the vibe because there's no vibration in there, is there? <laughs> no, that's right, yeah. So next product, though, and this, there was a massive light bulb moment for me on this one. So talk us through it. Right, so I, won't tell, I won't tell you what it is. I want people to have a light bulb moment. So this uh, is our newest product. It turns your tool changer into an automation system. So with this work holding hood, you are able to effectively use your existing machine tool in your factory uh, as an automation system. So the way it works is you clamp your billet. Just to clarify, so I've got a three axis mill, for example, 24 tool carousel. I'm only using six tools. I can use it, put these in the remaining, I'll do the mess, 18 tool holders. Yeah. And then you keep, keep going, I'll try to clarify. Yeah. And, then, and then you can automate that um, uh, amount of parts, you know, however many of these you've got in your tool carousel. Right, so I've got a drill, a face mill, an end mill, and then I've got one of these as well, or, yeah. 20, or 18 of these. Exactly that, yeah. yeah. Do, show us what it does then. Right, so you've got, your, you've got the Halbex vise, which you clamp your billet into. You put that onto a loading station, which sits outside your machine. You then put the hood over it and clamp the vise into it. So now you've loaded the vise into the uh, Halbex. That is now ready to go into your tool changer. So you load it into the tool changer. Call up this as a tool. The machine brings it, puts it into this base tower, um, which then drop, drops on like that. Obviously, the machine would then turn this. Um, I'll give it a turn. So it turns it through 90 degrees. Now, the vise inside there is completely static. And what that's done is it's clamped it to the machine table whilst also unclamping it from the work holding hood. So that's clamped now and ready to machine. Obviously, once you've finished your operation and you want to uh, store it back, you just bring the hood back, uh, put it back in there, reverse the program, send that back to your tool changer. So in the morning, you should come and the, the vices inside all the Halvexes will be with finished parts in there effectively. So depending on how many, how many sort of empty tool um, places you've got there, that's how many billets you can have. You can machine those overnight and it's done automation system nice and simple. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's designed to just get a bit of unmanned running where without having to buy a handling system or robot. You don't need any knowledge of automation. You can just add this to your existing machine and, and away you go. That is absolutely, it really is absolutely brilliant. So great solution. So just quickly, the, the, the products we've been through very quickly, just to reiterate. Uh, so we've we've got the Macro Grip Ultra. That's a brand new product for larger work pieces. Uh, Up to 810 mil. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Getting there. And, and <laughs> what repeatability? Uh, 10 micro. I think we've got that 10 micro. <laughs> um, and uh, we've got the Contour Jaws, which is a very cheap and simple solution to having set, uh, soft jaws for second op. 
we've got the macro foregrip, which is using our existing macro grip technology, but for round uh, material. And we've got the Halbex, which turns your tool changer into an automation system. Danny, absolutely brilliant. It really is a fantastic range of products. Thank you very much. And thanks for going through all of this. There you go, repeatable, accurate, rigid, innovative. Danny and the team from Lang Langer Technic UK.